my channel. My name is uh, Juliet, and I'm gonna show you how to make a super duper delicious um, vegan mopa frappuccino, which is about, I would say, five trillion bazillion times cheaper <laughs> than the frappuccinos you can get at uh, Starbucks. And these two little um, troll makers are gonna be um, causing trouble. They're, they're brothers, and they absolutely hate each other. <laughs> so, so this is coconut. You can see he's a, a little bit lighter color. He's known as a, a cinnamon cockatiel. And this is uh, Geraldine. Yeah, I know, it's like the most ridiculous name you've ever heard in your life for a bird, especially since uh, he's he's a boy. <laughs> so, you guys gonna behave each other? Yeah? No, be nice to your brother. Be nice to your brother, Cuckoo Nut. He, he's, he's, he's the troublemaker, this one. This guy's super laid back, but this bird, is a major, major troublemaker, this bird. You're a big troublemaker, aren't you? You're a big troublemaker, you are. <laughs> He's a little, uh, little head, head banger. Yeah, Kokuna, you're too cute. You guys think, oh, there's trouble, but you're too cute. You're too cute. Yes, you are. You're too cute. Me too. Me too. Coconut, come back. So, anyways, I hope you uh, enjoy my uh, my video. Thanks. Some uh, vegan nut cream. 
It's unbelievably good. You would never in a million years even be able to guess that it's vegan. Mmm. Oh, these are so good. I normally never ever eat processed junk foods like this. And um, here's the finished product. <laughs> I have my uh, vegan whipped cream in there. This is actually some really, really good um, uh, vegan whipped cream. It tastes just like regular whipped cream. If you try this, you would never even guess that it was vegan. They have one that's called um, a rice whip. And unfortunately, I have to give that a huge thumbs down. It had like a very weird chemical taste to it which I was really quite surprised about because I thought I was going to like the rice whip versus the soy whip, but the rice whip was awful. I wasn't a fan of that at all, but this a soy whip does not taste anything like soy at whatsoever. And it's, um, this is a fantastic vegan option if you want to have whipped cream on your frappuccino along with a vegan, oops, I just lost one of them, uh, vegan marshmallows. So vegan marshmallows. <laughs> They're tasty. So here's a close-up of my own vegan frappuccino. And I don't know if you can see it, there's a little butterfly right there. It's my favorite uh, mason jar. So I'm gonna go in and give it a taste test. <laughs> but life's short so every now and then I have a make myself a, a vegan frappuccino so I'm going to go enjoy this <laughs> and um I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll try and get better at making them <laughs> so if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and um subscribe if you want to <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys next time bye A long, long time ago This is the time of the apocalypse The dream of the last thing